हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम विश्वनाथ वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल द बेस्ट फिजिक्स गाइड बाय विश्वजीत नाथ टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वेब ऑप्टिक्स व्हाट इज वेब ऑप्टिक्स इन दिस चैप्टर वी कंसीडर लाइट एज अ वेव एक्चुअली मैक्स वेल प्रूव दैट लाइट इज एन इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव एंड इट इज अ ट्रांसफर्स वेव In the previous chapters, we consider light moves along a straight line, and it follows the geometric rules. But in this chapter, we consider light as a wave. That's why it follows the inter, it shows the interference, diffraction, polarization, etc. Today, I shall discuss about the huygens principle and by the huygens principle we shall prove the laws of reflection laws of refraction etc now what is wave front the wave front wave front is a plane while vibrating particles of the medium are in same phase that is when we throw a stone inside a still water of a pond then some transverse wave is created you know that the point of strike at the water is a wave source and the waves move along the water through the concentric circular path these concentric circular paths are known as wave fronts now when the point source when the source is a point then the wave front is a circular that is the wave moves same direction during same time that is the distance between o a the wave covers the distance oa in time t and another wave covers the distance ob in same time t and also oc od okay when time t is same then oa is equal to ob is equal to oc is equal to od that is when light or wave moves in a three dimensional uh, figure then this they form a um, circle, uh, spiral that is the wave front is a spherical when the source is a point source and oc or oa or od or ob is the radius of the sphere and the radius of the sphere r is equal to c into t but c is the speed of light and t is the time taken in this case when the source is a linear that is example of a tube light then the wave front is a cylindrical in this case the radius of the cylinder is equal to c r is equal to c into t when the source is at infinity that is when the uh, for an example the sun when the light comes from infinity then the lights are parallel to each other in this case the wave front is a plane now huygens principle the particle is on a wave front behaves like a secondary wave source and produce secondary waves these waves are known as wave lets that is the particles are in same wave front produce a vibration this vibration creates secondary waves okay that is the particles is on the wave front behaves like a secondary wave source 
and second the speed of secondary wave is same as the speed of primary wave that is the speed of primary wave and secondary wave are same third there is no backward amplitude of secondary wave secondary wave source okay that is there is no backward amplitude that is there is no backward amplitude of the secondary wave okay that is the amplitude of the uh, amplitude of a secondary wave in backward direction is zero these are known as Huygens principle in this case s is the main source or primary source and a1 a2 a3 are the points is on the primary wave front okay and these points a1 a2 a3 creates another secondary source the source of another secondary waves okay these are the secondary waves and this point p1 p2 p3 that is p1 p2 p3 denotes the secondary wavelet and this dotted line denotes the backward direction of secondary wavelets and there is no amplitude in backward direction that's why we denote the backward uh, or second uh, backward direction of the secondary um, uh, wavelets or secondary source or wavelets by dotted lines okay that is p1 p2 p3 are in same phase and they create the wave front of secondary source p1 p2 p3 creates create the wave front of secondary source now drawbacks of Huygens principle. First, Huygens told that there is no amplitude of the secondary source in backward direction. But he did not explain this fact mathematically. And second, Huygens assumed that light is an elastic wave light is an elastic wave but maxwell proved that light is an electromagnetic wave third huygens assumed that light passes through ether medium but there is but it already proved that there is no ether medium exist Kirchhoff mathematically proved that the amplitude of wavelet is a is equal to half 1 plus cos theta into a0 where a0 is the amplitude of the primary source or a0 is the amplitude, amplitude of the primary wave okay in the forward direction that is theta is equal to 0 the amplitude of the secondary wave is maximum that is a max is equal to half into 1 plus cos 0 a 0 is equal to a 0 and in the backward direction theta is equal to pi that's why the amplitude of the secondary wave is minimum and it is equal to a minimum is equal to half into 1 plus cos pi and you know that cos pi is equal to minus 1 this gives amplitude of the secondary wave in the backward direction will be zero
now i am going to prove the laws of reflection by using uh, huygens principle let m1 m2 is a plane mirror and p a q c and r f are incident light rays and a s c t are a s and c t are reflected light rays that is a b is incident wave front and b c is reflected wave front e is a point on the wave front a b that is a b and e are in same phase we draw ef parallel to q c that is ef is also an incident light ray now we draw another line f u parallel to ct or as which intersects dc at the point g okay now we have to prove that a u is parallel to ct that is f u is an reflected is a reflected light ray that is d g c are in same phase d g and c are in same phase now we draw f h a normal to b c f h is a normal to b c therefore we have to prove that e f plus f g e f plus f g is equal to b c that is the light covers the distance b c in time t is equal to the light covers the distance e f plus f g in the same time duration t that is d g and c are in same phase when a b and e are is a uh, are is in same phase and the angle b a c is equal to angle b c a that is angle of incident is equal to angle of reflection now from triangle abc and triangle abc we have first triangle abc is equal to angle abc abc is equal to angle abc is equal to pi by 2 because ab is wave front of qc that is ab is normal to qc and bc is wave front of as or ct that means bc is normal to as okay second ad is equal to bc ad is equal to bc because when light is at the point a then the light another light ray is at the point b when the incident light ray covers bc distance and the same time duration the reflected light light covers ad distance that's why ad is equal to bc third ac is common side that's why the two triangles abc is congruent to triangle adc okay therefore we can write that angle bac is equal to angle c d c a that is angle b a c is equal to angle d c a d c a that is angle of incident is equal to angle of reflection this proof the proves the second law of reflection that is angle of incident is equal to angle of reflection 
सिंस ए बी इज पैरल टू एफ एच दैट्स वाई वी कैन राइट दैट एंगल ए बी ए सी बी ए सी इज इक्वल टू एंगल एच एफ सी एंड एंगल देर फॉर वी कैन राइट दैट एंगल एच एफ सी इज इक्वल टू एंगल जी सी एफ ओके सिंस ए बी इज पैरल टू एफ एच now from the triangle fhc fhc and triangle fgc we have the two triangles hfc is equal to gcf that is hfc is equal to gcf that equal and angle fhc is equal to angle cgf are equal because they are both 90 degree since if h is normal to bc and gc is normal to ct now fc is the common side therefore triangle fhc and and triangle fgc are congruent therefore we can write that hc is equal to fg or fg is equal to hc since b e f h b e f h is a rectangle that's how you can write b h is equal to e f b h is equal to e f therefore b h plus h c is equal to e f plus f g because h c is equal to f g h c is equal to h f H C is equal to F G. Therefore, we can write B H plus H C is equal to B C. B H plus H C is equal to B C. That means B C is equal to E F plus H G. E F plus H G. That is when light covers incident light covers the B C distance in the same time duration. The light covers from E to F. F to G, okay. That is G is in same phase with B and C. This proves the laws of reflection, and we already proved that angle B A C is equal to angle D C A. That's why the angle of incident is equal to angle of reflection. It proves the second law of reflection. now i am going to prove the laws of refraction by huygens principle let these are two medium divided by the plane xy okay and the velocities of light in first medium is c1 and in second medium is c2 here c1 is greater than c2 ab is the incident wave front and cd is the refracted wave front that is ab a and b the point a and b are in same phase and c and d are in same phase angle bac is equal to i1 is equal to angle of incident bac is equal to i1 is equal to angle of incident and dca is equal to i2 is equal to angle of refraction now eb a point on the incident wave front ab and we draw ef is a parallel to bc and we again draw a parallel line g efg parallel to ad fg is parallel to ad okay that is g is on the plane bc now we have to prove that g d and c are in same phase you already uh, considered that d r and c are in same phase and now we have to prove that g also 
is in same place with B either D or C. Okay. That is when light ray covers the distance BC path with velocity C1, then in the same time duration, the light covers the path AB with speed C2. Clear? Now we are to prove that the light covers the distance EF plus FG in the same time duration. In the same time duration, that is BC by C1 is equal to AD by C2. That is time taken by the uh, uh, light ray covered BC with speed C1 is T. And the time taken by the light, diffracted light AD to cover the distance AD with speed C2 is also T. That is BC by C1 is equal to AD by C2 is equal to T and AEF by C1 plus FG by C2 is equal to also T. That is light also cover the distance EF plus FG in the same time duration T. Again, the Snell's law, we have to also prove the Snell's law that is sin I1 by sin I2 is equal to mu2 by mu1 is equal to C1 by C2. Now we draw FH is normal to BC. That is FH is parallel to AC and FH is normal to BC that is FH is parallel to AB. FH is parallel to AB. Okay. Now from triangle ABC and triangle FHC we have FC, FC by SC, FC by SC this is equal to how much F uh, is equal to HC by BC because these two triangles are similar because AB is parallel to FH therefore FC by AC is equal to HC by BC similarly since FG is parallel to AD that's why triangle ADC and triangle FGC are similar therefore we can write that FC by AB FC by AC FC by AC is equal to FG by AD okay FC by AC is equal to FG by AD now equating equation 1 and 2 we have we have HC by BC is equal to FG by AD this gives that HC by FG is equal to BC by AD and you know that BC by C1 is equal to AD by C2 is equal to small t that's why we can write that HC by FG is equal to BC by AD is equal to C1 by C2 and let HC is equal to C1T and FG is equal to C2T okay that is the time taken by the light to cover HC distance is equal to the time taken by the light to cover FG distance in the first case that is F H C is a incident light ray and F G is a reflected light ray. That is G and C are in same phase. Now B C by C1, B C by C1 is equal to B H plus H C by C1. And you know that B H is equal to E F because EBHE is a rectangle therefore we can write B, B, B in place of BH we can write EF EF by C1 plus HC by C1 and we already proved that HC by C1 is equal to FG by C2 
That's why we can write that BC by C1 is equal to EF by C1 plus FG by C2. That is the light covers, incident light covers BC distance in time t is equal to the light covers EF with velocity C1 plus the distance covered by the reflected, refracted light FG with velocity C2 in same time duration. Okay. This, this proves the laws of refraction. That is G and C are in same place. That is DC is a refracted light ray. Refracted wave font. Okay. Since sine i by sine i2, sine i1, since sine sin i1 by sin i2, this is equal to from the triangle ABC, we have sin i1 is equal to BC by AC. BC is the normal and AC is the hypotenuse. And from the triangle ADC, we have sin i2 is equal to AD by AC. Here AD is the normal and AC is the hypotenuse. This gives sin i1 by sin i2 is equal to BC by AD. This is equal to you know that BC by AD is equal to C1 uh, C1 by C2. That is speed of light in first medium is equal by speed of light in second medium. This is equal to mu2 by mu1. That is refractive index, absolute refractive index of the second medium by absolute refractive index of the first medium. This proves the Snell's law. That is the laws of refraction or second law of refraction. That is from Huygens principle, we can prove the laws of reflection and laws of refraction. Today, I am going to complete my discussion. Thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day.